another one of my short videos on how to do things when scratch building. Today we're going to look at a simple way of making a scarf joint. I need to put a streak in here and so I need to make a scarf joint to join these two pieces together. There are quite a few different ways to do this but in model building we're really just going to use um, the simple process of making a regular or simple scarf join. There are very few tools you need. Um, I suggest two calipers or two tools that can mark um, the piece. One that determines the length of the scarf joint and the other one that determines the actual um, top and bottom side of the join. So all you do is to take the caliper and mark on both sides and do the same thing on the other piece. Now we want to make them the same length. So you determine the length that you want to make the join. And if you're having difficulty seeing like I am, you can mark the key pieces out on pencil. And now we're going to attach, if, I'm not sure if you can see this, this line here with this line. So we don't want this to move. So a simple technique is simply to clamp it to your table or whatever you're using. Just so it doesn't move. And then taking your utility knife you're going to draw a line across the grain. You're going to scribe a line across the grain. And again, if you wish, <coughs> you can just highlight it. And in this case, we're going to be taking off this piece. And now you do the exact opposite for the other piece. And we're going to scribe the line on this side. And again, Mark off the piece that we're cutting off. And then you cut off these two pieces. I did these cuts on the bandsaw outside, so now we're going to clean it up. You can see it's not a perfect join, um, but it's a join nevertheless. So we're now going to clean up further using our chisel. But before you do that, you need to hold up the two pieces, let's assume these are the two ends, close together and hold them up to a light or to the sky and you should be able to see no sunlight through the join. If you see sunlight, that shows you where you have to sun. Well, they don't normally come out this easily, um, but if you turn it up to the light, you can see light coming through and it tells you where you need to sand. 
This one, for some strange reason, because <laughs> it never happens like this in real life, has come out perfectly the first time around. If you'd like to show off the join, which you may, you can simply put some pencil on it. Now to join the pieces, we simply clamp them to... I like to use glass because it's easy to get stuff off of it. Mix a small amount of 5-minute epoxy. You could put on both sides. I choose to put on one side. Make sure it stays flat. I clamp this side down and I like to clamp both sides of the joint <coughs> and leave that and this is what you're going to end up with which we'll just sand and clean up. And when she's all sanded that's what she's going to look like. I like to leave it for 24 hours to let the epoxy get really hard because I've had them break on me. In the rail boats they would actually have some pin, either a, a wooden dowel or a bronze uh, pin that would go through here and keep this a nice tight fit. I hope you found this useful. In my early days I struggled to make these scarf joints, um, but really they are very easy. I can do them in my sleep now. They take very little time and are an important part of scratch building. So see you in my next video.